everybody, how you doing? This is my drill press system for cornholes. Um, as you may or may not know, I build cornholes. I make a lot of them uh, to the point where I needed to go ahead and develop a system that would make it a little bit easier when I wanted to drill the six inch diameter hole needed for the game board. So I came up with this system from an idea that I saw on here on YouTube from Solandry One. He developed a drill press that would work ideally for the, um, the machine itself. So what I wanted to do is come up with my own idea. So with that, the thought process of this machine is that it's simple enough to go on to every single time I cut a standard two by four foot board on the plywood. This machine is a, a, a simple design. It's got a beefy body system. I built it out of birch plywood. It sits on a two by two base with a six inch diameter drill brick bit right on it. This is a wooden drill press system so it drops the uh, drill down. This sits on drawer slides. These are just ball bearing drawer slides that go up and down and with the spring system. The drill I'm using is a half inch rigid drill. I had to reconfigure the support system underneath here a little bit differently. Again, if you go to his video, he has pretty close to step-by-step -step instructions how to build it, and then I went ahead and changed it up. Uh, again, what's different on mine is I have a full base system. I pocket hold it all the way around onto the two uh, foot by two foot plywood, and then I made sure when I did design it that this drill bit sits dead center where the pocket hole for, or the, 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 drill, the six inch drill bit is supposed to be for the um, core hole board system. So how it works is pretty simple. We put it on, I put my two by four foot piece of plywood on the um, table. We go ahead and line up all the corners to make sure it's all good to go. Then I take my slide drill, my vices here and base this thing smack dab onto the table. And this thing is not going to move. In fact, let's put a couple more. Go ahead and clamp this thing down is how we do it so it does we clamp this thing down so it doesn't move, all right? And then what we're going to do is start the baby up. So I use a piece of Velcro to adjust the speed on this variable speed half-inch drill. Leave it down below. 
you know, I'm really excited because this thing literally, this is, this drill has so much torque and so much power to it, it scared the living daylights out of me. And literally one time it jumped when I, before I had this and it literally grabbed my pants and it was not safe. And I literally, I put it down, I wouldn't do it, I wasn't going to build any more culvert holes until I figured out a, a simpler idea to make it easier for me. You know, you can always take the drill bit, you can always take a, um, you know, a router or a, 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 a jigsaw or something like this, but you know, I wanted to go ahead and make something that would work good. So, nonetheless, this is what I've put together. Once again, leave any questions or any ideas down below. Thanks for watching. Needless to say, keep woodworking.